What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef King, Chef Shalom, back in the building. Hey, real quick, man, I want to just let y'all boys know that this video is sponsored by my business, the Chef Soul Glow. Yo, maximize your best glow with the Chef Soul Glow. Glow packs available at the Chef Soul Glow and the Chef Use on beards, waves, natural hair, and skin. But yeah, man, link will be in the description or in the bio so y'all boys can go over there and maximize y'all best glow. You know what I mean? Y'all boys enjoy this video. Shalom. <laughs> Good job, boys. It's your boy Chef King Chef Shalom back in the building. I'll praise to the most high for another day. Hopefully, you brothers been out there, you know, doing what we're supposed to do, grinding every day, getting better. You know what I mean? But hey, let me rap with y'all boys real quick, bro. Your lust can and will lead you to your destruction, bro. Like, and what I mean by that is. Let's, let's just be real, bro. We men over here, and we love we love some women. You know, we like women. We we appreciate women. It's that and third, bro. So when you out and about, you know, doing your doing your day to day, you may see a, a woman. You may see a sister. You feel me? And she might look enticing to you. You know, she might have a lips, hips, and honey dips. But without you knowing that woman on a deeper level, you you could be led by your lust. Which could lead you to approach the women on some, you know, you're trying to get in between the thighs, and then you don't know, you don't know this woman from a can of beans, you don't know her from a can of paint. She could have an STD, you know, she could, um, it could be anything, like she could be a harlot. You don't, you don't know what kind of energy this woman has. But when you're on your grind, when you're living right for the most high, of course, he gives you that kind of discernment. So when you have encounters with women, you know, or, or in, you know, just in the regular day to day, not saying that you're trying to holler at them, but just when you encounter different women across your journey, you are, you're able to discern their energy. You're able to see, OK, this woman is giving me Jezebel vibes. This woman is this woman seems like her energy is OK. I, I'll entertain a conversation with her and see where, you know, what I mean, see where her head at. But when you're led by your lust, you're you're easily persuaded by the physical. You're able to, you know, you see her, you see what she got back there. You like, boy, like, hey, I I I do this that, I do this and that to it. You know, what I mean, she might have something in the front, you know, on on a, on a, you know on a chest that you might you might be attracted to. But with that being said, when you're led by your lust, that could lead you down the path of destruction. If you think about you know, you meet a chick, you get the, you, you meet a chick, you see her at the club or somewhere like that. Think about the environments that you meet these women. You see, you see a chick at the club, she already dressed half naked, you know what I mean? And then you run down on her cause of, cause of your lust. You probably been drinking, or you probably been smoking, something's giving you some, a little bit of, a little bit of courage, you know what I mean? You slide up on her, you say you try to rap your rap, and then, you know, next thing you know, you in between her thighs, right? You get this woman pregnant. You don't know this woman, right? You get this woman pregnant. This turns out to be the baby mama from hell, bro. You know what I mean? She, she's, she's just like she's toxic. She, she's doing the most. She's loud, obnoxious. But when you met her, you know what I mean? You were so controlled by your lust. You were, you were ignoring the red flags. You, you know that's the thing on social media right now. Everybody talking about red flags. Well. You know, she displayed these red flags to you when you when you came across her, but you were so driven and controlled by your lust, you were able you ignored those things. You weren't able to identify them. You know, so now you got this baby mama, and you know damn well you 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 two wouldn't even be if you was thinking in your right mind, y'all two wouldn't even be vibing on the same frequency. But you was controlled by your lust at that moment, and that could lead you to your destruction. Another example, like I said before. You never know. This woman might have an STD, and this in this video ain't no knock on no women. This is more for my brothers to be mindful because there are people like this out here, you know, in the in the world. So like, you just got to be mindful of those things. But with that being said, this sister might have an STD. You know, outside appearance, she look perfectly fine. You don't look at a woman and say, oh, she got an STD. You can't see that shit. You know, it's something that you have to, I mean, you don't really know until either she tells you or until you, something going on down there that's a little bit different. You know what I mean? Um, but with that being said, you run down on her, you see her, you see this woman at the park or somewhere, you see her at the grocery store, 
you know, everybody got to eat. Everybody goes to the grocery store. So, you know, you see a woman at the grocery store, she got the tights on, she got the sweats on, hair probably pulled back or whatever, however she looking. You know what I mean? You run down on them just because you, you, you saw what was fat back then. You saw what was poking. So you like, hey, you know, you rap your rap, whoop de whoop. Now you between her thighs. She ain't tell you that she had an STD, right? A couple weeks later, you noticing things going on with, with your wood and that wasn't going on before you started dealing with this sister over here, before you hit it, hit it and quit it. You know what I mean? You didn't wear no didn't wear no rubber. You know what I mean? So like, you really out here playing Russian roulette with your life. So now, now you got an STD. And, and even on top of that, you better pray that it's something that's curable. Because uh, it's some things out here. I ain't, I ain't going to get too far and deep. I mean, I feel like everything can be cured. But with that being said, there's some things out here that are, that are a lot more challenging to cure. We'll just leave it at that. With that being said, bro, you run across a woman like that. Now you living your life. Now your whole life has changed. All based off that one moment you were led by your lust, bro. So y'all boys be mindful of that, man. We can't be out here being led by our lust, bro. When you on your grind, bro, for example, when you retaining your seed and your energy's building up, you're going to have a lot of women run across you. Some women, you know, good energy. Some women are bad energy. Women are women, though. So it ain't like there's a good or a bad woman. It's just the energy that that woman has when she comes across you. I mean, that's how you got to go about it. You have to get to know these women. You can't just be out here just, just smashing all these chicks, bro, because some of these chicks ain't they not right in the head. They just not. And it just is what it is. Shit. For the sisters that may watch my video, some of these brothers ain't right in the head. So it just it, it goes both ways. This ain't no, like I said before, this ain't no knock on them. But with that being said, bro, we can't be led by our lust. We gotta be able to stay firm in our, you know, firm in our journey, bro. Cause the longer you go, dog, the more I'm gonna do an update on my uh I'm gonna post a two-month next week. I'm gonna post a two-month uh semen retention update because i've been i've been retaining for going on two months now you know what i mean since the last time me and my girlfriend at the time had you know intercourse or whatever but with that being said uh i'm gonna post a two month i'm gonna post a two month update bro and i'm gonna just give y'all a little bit of i'm gonna give y'all a couple story times about the things i've encountered in these last two months just you know the little it ain't nothing crazy but just just the things i've noticed because I, I i'm i'm very uh observant so there's some things I may see that people may not have noticed that who may have been around me or this, that, and the third. So with that being said, y'all boys, this your boy King Chef Shalom. If the message applies to you, you charge it to the game. If it don't, you keep it pushing. All praise to the Mosai. Shalom, y'all boys.